23rd, depending on the year of the Gregorian calendar. Yule is also known as the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere due to the seasonal differences. Yule is when the dark half of the year relinquish to the light half. Starting the next morning at sunrise, the sun climbs just a little bit, a little higher, and stays a little longer in the sky each day. So it's winter no, solstice. Let me finish. Known as the solstice night, or the longest night of the year, the sun rebirth was celebrated with much joy. On this night, our ancestors celebrated the rebirth of the oak king, the sun king, which really all that is is sun worship, right. the giver of life that warmeth the frost earth. From this day forward, the day was become longer. Okay, let me skip down to the part because this is kind of lengthy and you don't have patience. Okay, the ceremony, uh, here we go. The different types of Yule logs, uh, here we go. Many customs were around Yule are identified with Christmas today. If you decorate your house with a Yule, log, a Yule tree, which is like a pine tree, which is a Christmas tree, get that in the scriptures, okay? holly or candles you are following the same some of these old traditions the yule log usually made from a piece of wood served from the previous year is burned and the fire to symbolize the new birth of the sun okay s-u-n okay the deities of yule all newborn gods sun gods mother goddess triple goddesses that's that trinity and it says this in the scriptures this is going to talk about the christmas tree it says the best known as Dagon, such, 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 such. All right. Symbology of Yule. The rebirth of the sun, the longest night of the year, the winter solstice. All right. Symbols of Yule. Yule log, three candles, the green bows, the, the wealth, the holly, the mistletoe, mistletoe hanging in the doorway, golden pillars of candles, baskets of clover, stubbed fruit. All right. Uh, so the herbs. All of the customs. So what are you preaching? We're preaching that. Are you preaching the Bible? Yeah, we're preaching the gospel that the Lord's about to come back and destroy this place, man. So was the world supposed to end yesterday or not? We didn't say that. I didn't. I know. I didn't say that. Just... No, the scriptures say otherwise. That I nobody agree. knows I would today agree. or the time. Whatever it says in there, I agree. Well, let's read that about the Christmas tree. So you don't celebrate Christmas? No, because we just read the origins okay. of Christmas go back to a pagan holiday. Go ahead. Read Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 Thus said the Lord Learn not the way of the heathen And be not dismayed at the sign of heaven For the heathen are dismayed at them Going back to the winter solstice Which is sun worship Keep reading. For the custom of the people are vain yep. For one cut of a tree out of the forest And the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe that's, that's what they do in New York Where they chop down that big old Christmas tree And they bring it to What's that Rockefeller Center Yeah Okay, keep reading. They deck it with silver and with gold. Now, in the ancient time, they used to put silver and gold on it. But today, people are poor, they can't do that. They put tinsels, they put lights to make right. it shine. That's what, that was the whole purpose of putting it there. Keep reading. They fastened it with nails and with hammers. That's where you get your tree stand today. Right. They used to nail it to the ground. Keep right. reading. That it moved not. Uh-huh. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Like the, the uh, evergreen. Right. Okay, keep reading. They must need be born. That's why you got people now, they put it on their cars, they carry it. They used to chop it down and carry it by themselves, but now people are lazy they use their cars. Thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah. All right. I have one more question, though. Yeah. Why is a lot of this pointed out white man? Because he's a, he's a deceiver. Okay. White. Yeah. So-called white man is a deceiver. Okay. All right. For an example, that image right there is not biblical. Get the image of the Lord in the scriptures. The scriptures describe what the Lord looked like. We're going to read it, and then I want you to, to uh, receive that image that, well, minus the horns and the, you know, 666 and the tongue and the waffle met chain and the air ring. All right? See if that image is biblical. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Yep. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is who we call Jesus Christ. All right, that's Matthew 16, 13. He refers to himself as the Son of Man. Can you read it? Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a long garment on. Yeah. And a girt with a belt with the paps with a girdle and girdle. Which is like a, a wrestling belt. Can you read it? His head and hairs were white like wool. White like wool. You know, woolly in texture.
picture and white in color because he was he had gray hair you read it which that image doesn't have woolly hair like a fro because that's what like woolly hair is like an afro okay and it was white keep reading that's white as snow yep and his eyes were as a flame of fire because the scriptures the people mocked him and said he was a wine bibber because he drunk wine you can read that in matthews 11 and luke chapter 7 okay they called him a wine bibber and a gluttonous and it was a prophesied in genesis 49 and i think it's 12 that his eyes shall be red with wine keep reading and his feet like it's a fine brass fine brass brass is a derivative of brown like a key This is like brass. Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass, if they burn in a furnace. And if you burn it, it gets darker. Keep reading. And his voice as the sound of many waters. You can read Mark chapter 4, start at the top when he was preaching by the seaside. He was in a boat in the water and he was preaching to hundreds of people. And they all heard him. So he had a powerful voice. And it's also in Daniel chapter 10 where it says the same description of the Lord. Okay, so that image right there is not biblical, like the sign said. This is the devil, which the word devil means deceiver. It comes from the Latin word diabolos. Okay, the people that created that image, which was Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, all right, by the decree of Rodrigo Bogier, to draw the image of Rodrigo Bogier's son, Cedro Bogier, to depict him as the new Christ. When they came over here and conquered the, the natives, Okay, which the natives are Israelites. Alright. Okay. Can I speak about that? I mean, honestly, I the what Jesus looks like isn't important to me, it's what he teaches. It's not important? It's not important to me. Well like. get that about the Antichrist. Okay. What about the Antichrist? You're an Antichrist. If you say he done he didn't come in the flesh, all flesh has color. Yeah. I, so the scriptures the describe Bible, what he looks like. So I mean, what what, what do you mean? It doesn't there's matter. There's no difference to me. What it does are. it does matter if you're saying that you love the Lord, right? Like say say you had a woman, right? Okay, and somebody say, oh, your woman is is a uh, uh, purple or something, but your woman's not purple. You'll be offended, right? Because they're insulting your your woman. I don't find that as an insult. They don't even, you don't find that as, an insult. If you look if somebody, at it as an insult, it is an insult. That is an insult because if you say you love your woman as you love yourself, you wouldn't want nobody disrespecting your woman. What's well, the same with the Lord? Okay? If you say you love the Lord, you would want the people to, to recognize what he looked like according to the scriptures. The Lord doesn't need an image. He teaches us through the Bible. Okay. You, you know so much Bible verses. I, I, I know the Bible because I study. Okay, the scriptures say study so religious. Huh? Were you at some point religious? We used to be in a uh, Christian uh, so-called Christian church. Which all that all like I said, if you could do research, alright, all that stuff is pagan, man. Okay? And none of the, none of the stuff they teach you there in the churches it can be proven through the scriptures if you understand the scriptures. Because they don't go to that, they don't break down the image of the Lord according to the Bible. Okay. But they push this image, and they say that's the Lord, and everybody around the world think that's the Lord, and that's not. No. Well, let me ask you this: Who did the Lord come to save? Get Matthew's one and twenty-one. Okay, we are gonna get it straight out the Lord's mouth. Okay. Matthews chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. His people is everybody. No, his people were Israelites. Go to uh, Matthews 15, 24. He's going to tell you who he came for. He created the earth. He came for everybody. No. But you do believe Jesus came on it. You believe Jesus is a real person. He came... In the flesh, like the scriptures say. And you believe in God? Yes, because I'm an Israelite. Okay? Uh, They're the only people that believe in, in the Heavenly Father according to the Bible. Uh, Matthew 15, 24. Where y'all from? I'm from Minnesota. Our parents are from Ukraine. Ukraine? Alright. I mean, our people got scattered all over the world. Yeah. You know? And even in, in, in places like Ukraine, 
over there like 